So this is the project that we are creating today. Let me move my light over just a smidge. Okay. And isn't that just adorable? And I'm going to show you um, all the different ways, you know, the different uh, elements that I use to create this. It is so much fun to do, you guys, and it's really, really easy. So uh, first, before we get started with that, let me show you the products that I used, okay, to create this. Um, okay, so for... For the Newton's Nook, what I use for them is I used this adorable stamp set. Um, it's called Holiday Hounds. And of course, I bought it because it's, you know, it's about doxies. So I absolutely, you know, you guys know that I love my doxies. I have two and they're both obnoxious as all get out, but I love them to death. So that's why when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have got to make a project with these stamps. So this is the stamp set that I used and then also the coordinated dies, okay? And then also, oh, and here's a little, um, a little set that I used also for the lights, the little Christmas light that I put around the picture frame. I'll show you that again in a minute. Um, so this is what I use for that. This is called Holiday Lights. Okay, so we've got that. And then this, this is awesome. This is actually um, designed to do shaker cards with. Now, you know me, you know how I love, love, love to do shaker cards. Those are one of my favorite, um, favorite cards to create. But I had this um, wood sign that I really wanted to use. So instead of creating a shaker card with this, I created frames. But as you can see, it's got the uh, paw print and then this is the outer, outer piece of the paw print. And then it's got a little house over here that has, or a little die over here that has houses and bones. And then also more paws down here. And then it's also got for kitties. If you guys are, um, you know, kitty lovers, you can also use this for, yeah, um, for cats because it has the wolf on it, but it also has meow. So isn't that so, so cute? So that is the die set that I used. And this is called Paw Print Shaker Die, okay? So, and yes, Rebecca, those are paw prints on my <laughs> watch band. <laughs> I'm glad that you caught that. And then, of course, I, I made it red. So I made the outside red, you know, for the holidays. So, oh, there we go. Suri's going to start talking to me here in a second. All right. So these are the products that I use from Newton's Nook. Absolutely adorable. This would make a fabulous uh, shaker card. And I probably will do that sometime down the line. Um, I'll do a shaker card with this. Okay, so let me show you how to put this together. Oh, and before I forget, just a quick tip for you guys. What I like to do when I'm working with new products, especially dyes, um, I will make i will take old paper that i have um you know old construction paper or something like that cheap paper and then i will run them through the um the die cut machine just so i can see how it's gonna you know how it looks and you know um that way in the future if i want to use it again i can look at it and go okay that's how it you know that's how they look when they're cut out, the size and everything. So that's just something that I do. And then also what I like to do once I do this is if I'm laying out a design, especially on a wall hanging or something like that, I like to use these for placement where I can put things before I actually start stamping or using my good papers and stuff. So there's a tip for you. Just so you know, 
okay? That's just something that I like to do. So let me put these back. And then we will, I'll show you how to create this sign. Okay, so first of all, you're going to start with this wood sign. Now, this is about, I think it's like 14 inches. No, it's 15 inches long. Okay. Um, and I got this off of Amazon. So if you're looking for wood products, you can check out Amazon. They have a lot of really cute um, different types of wood products that you can use with your crafting. So these were really inexpensive. There was two in a package. And I think it was like maybe, I don't know, I want to say like $5 or something like that. It was really inexpensive. But it is... Um, 15 inches long okay just so you know the size so what you're going to do to start off with this let me grab some paper here real quick just so i can give you an idea okay now i've already done this on the other side but i just wanted to show you really quick how you can lay your paper down and cut it um so you can get the best cut out of your paper and you're not wasting anything okay so what you're going to do is you've got i've got two different types of pattern paper here that i've used and what i did was i laid my pattern paper down on top of it and then i just kind of like you know i looked and i measured okay and i made sure that this is like six inches. So I made it a little bit bigger than this. And then I laid it down and then cut it. And then, you know, I would just like cut it in a square. Okay. And then what I would do is take a straight edge and cut it out, cut it actually out. So you can lay your pattern paper down here on each side first. Okay. And then you're gonna do the same for the pattern paper that goes on the inside. And that way you're not wasting any of your paper. Just kind of measure it out, make it a little bit bigger than what the actual wood is, and then just take your X-Acto knife and cut it out, okay? So you're gonna have this when you're done. Super cute. Okay, so once you have that all done and cut out. I'm going to set it over here to the side. As I said, this is a really easy and quick project to do. Okay, so let me show you. Now, the paw print die that, that I used, that I told you, you know, was a shaker. Okay, so what I did with that, and I did it different for this one than I did mine. It's just different colors. So don't, you know, don't think that I, I'm doing a quick switch on you. They're just different colors of paper. And that's just because sometimes I don't always have enough when I do one project to do the second. So I just change the papers out. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that die and it has the two parts to it. It's got the outside ring that I showed you. Let me show you again. That's this piece down here. And then also the paw, and that's what cuts this out. Now, when I originally did this, when I first started it, I went ahead and I did it in the white. And then as I, it's a white glitter paper. And then as I was working on it, I decided that I didn't like the white. So I kept switching it up. So then I changed it to a red glitter. And I didn't like that because that was just too much red. So then I switched it to this green color that I used on mine, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to cut two pieces out, well, depending on how many dogs you have. But for my project, because I have my two dogs, you're going to cut two of the outer pieces with pattern paper, and then two, this is glitter paper, okay? And then what you're going to do is Take your picture of your puppy, you know, of your dogs, and put it on the inside of this piece right here only. 
okay so you're going to do that with both pieces and then once you've done that then you're going to adhere the back piece on to the glitter paper okay so let me get this glue open real quick okay so you've got your picture laid inside so then what we're going to do is we're just going to take some glue and then just adhere this to the backs side and that is what creates your smaller frames okay so we're going to do that with both both of the little paw prints these are just so so cute and as i said if you're not a dog lover if you're a cat lover you can also do this project with kitties okay so that way then when you're done you're going to have your dog's photos here and then you're going to have the pattern paper that you'll be able to see, which I think is really, really cool. Okay, so once I did that, then I took the little stamps, okay, and I stamped out three of the dogs, okay? White cardstock with my black Gina K ink pad. And then, of course, I colored them in with um, some watercolors because, you know, I'm on my watercolor kick right now. So I used my watercolor pencils to color my images. And then, of course, I used the die cut and I cut them out. And then also what I did was I took um, my little glitter pen and I just added a tiny bit of the glitter pen on the whites of this little guy right here. And then I also added it to all of the little Christmas lights that are wrapped around the dog, okay? So you're gonna do that. And then once you do that, then the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take the smaller light the smaller Christmas light like I've done here and I stamped out four of them same thing black ink pad colored them with watercolors on white cardstock and then I cut these out okay because th these don't come with the die so I just cut them out all right so now you've got these pieces stamped and die cut out and then the next thing that you're going to do is take the wolf die that is inside the die set there and i only cut out two for this project but i used three on my finished one and i um cut them out on black glitter paper okay so now you have all of this and now you're ready to put it together that's why i said this is a super quick and easy project to put together so what we're gonna do now, okay, we're gonna bring the frame back in. Now, I wanted my images up. I wanted them up off of, I didn't want them laying flat, okay? So what I did, of course, was I took the center picture and I'm gonna bring the finished one in real quick to show you how I did this. I took the two frames that I did here and I added just one layer of foam tape to the back of them. Okay, so it's just the one layer and then I put them here and here. And then I did the same with the dogs. Okay, and then this picture that I have here in the center of my sign, this is a picture that we took the dogs to go see Santa Claus. Yes, you guys, I am that kind of a dog lover. So I am a little, you know, kooky about that. So I took him to see Santa Claus. So I wanted to use that picture for the center. So I added a little bit of foam tape to the back just to kind of bring it up off of the sign itself, okay? And then when, once I laid it down, then I took some twine like this and I just, 
wrapped it around my photo, okay, just like this, and then I just adhered it every once in a while with a tab of hot glue just around the picture. So I kind of, I went all the way around the picture. And then once I did that, then I went back with the, the Christmas lights and I just adhered those right on top. Okay, so what you're gonna do then to finish this off, cause like I said, I don't have this center picture so I can't show you exactly. But again, you're just going to lay your doggies out and lay your frames okay now right now my frame is upside down because the holes are here but i'm trying to show you guys this way okay and then you're just going to decorate it from there so again because it's so simple i'm just going to show you the finish it off with my finished one okay so you're going to add um, just one layer of foam tape on each of your dogs. And then you're going to adhere your three wolves right here. You're going to adhere those on with some glue. And then down here, what I did down here is this says um, Dachshund Through the Snow. And I just thought that was really, really cute. It's in the stamp set. There are a couple um, phrases in here, but this is the one that I used because I loved it so much. And again, just stamped it on white cardstock, black ink, and then I took a little bit of green around the edges. And then as you can see, you lay everything down, lay it all out, and that's it, you're done. The sign is that simple to do. Actually, this sign comes with the wire in the packaging so you don't even have to um you know worry about adding wire or anything because it's in the packaging that comes with these large frames and so that's all you got to do to finish it off add your picture in the center your two paw prints here and then your little dogs around um the bottom there and there you go now i wanted to point out I don't know if you've noticed this, but my dog's names, this is Ruby and this is Emmy. This is just some fun little trivia that I'm giving you guys now. And because I am a huge, huge Wizard of Oz fan, um, that's how Ruby got her name because we got her first. Okay. So I named her after the Ruby slippers. And then we got Emmy three years later and we named her Emmy as in Emerald City or, you know, whatever. Um, so when I put collars and things on them, Ruby is always in red and Emmy is always in green. So when I created my frame, I added the touches of their, their personalities on each of the dogs down here by their pictures. You can see this one has got the little red scarf on here for Ruby. And then this one over here has the green sweater for Emmy. So I just thought that I would share that with you guys. Just, you know, a fun little trivia fact about my dogs. But that is how simple it is to create this frame. You know, uh, it doesn't take any time at all. The most time that it takes would be to color. Other than that, it goes together quick and easy. But it makes an adorable you know, addition to your Christmas decorations, or if you've got a friend that, you know, you know that uh, loves dogs, you could personalize it to their dogs. It's just absolutely adorable to do. So, oh, I am so glad that I got through that and fa Facebook, you know, listened and, and did everything too. Okay, so hang on a minute. I'm going to switch cameras here real quick. Let me switch my cameras over. And then I have to, hello again. And then I have to go down here real quick and send Anne this link so she can come back in. There we go, okay. So see how, see how fun that is to do? It's just 
such a quick and easy project, but it is so cute, so much fun. And, you know, if you're a dog lover or you know somebody that's a dog lover, they're going to love something like this. I'm thinking what I might do uh, with my second frame is do one for my son because my son is also, um, also has a dachshund. Um, so I might do that second one that they have there for him. I was thinking about that because I know he would love it. So let me, oh, there's Anne. So let me bring her back in. There we go. Okay. That was adorable. Wasn't it fun? Just, it's just, it's such a cute and simple, easy project to do. You know, um, dog lovers, you know, I mean, if you're a dog lover, we do weird things. So, yes, I took my dogs to see Santa Claus. Yes, I did. So, you well, know. Lucky well, Santa wasn't afraid of dogs. I know they're little. but No, this was, no, this was at PetSmart. Oh, perfect. So, okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, Santa was at PetSmart. That. So, I took them there to see him there. So, I knew that he wasn't going to be afraid of my dog, although my dogs oh, okay. were they're both lovey. They wouldn't bite a soul. That was nice. that was my first thought because I'm leery around some, you know. I, yeah, I know you are. I know you are. Yeah. But yeah, I just I just absolutely love that. I kept debating on doing. Do I want to do a shaker card or do I want to do this sign? And I had got these these dock signs, and I thought, you know what? That's going to make a perfect frame. It you know doesn't even need to be you know, uh, a shaker card. Although what you could do is you could put a shaker element in here. Right. And right. then frame it, you uh -huh. know, or then put it on, on the wood, or you could put pictures of your dogs all in the little pots, all in Cute. there. So different ideas, you guys, you know, just give it a shot. Like I said, um, I got it at Amazon. They have tons of wood products. They really do. And they're pretty inexpensive compared to walking into the store, right? Because that's sometimes, can be yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes. and in the store, you tend to buy more. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty bad about Amazon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Rich thinks I need to take stock in Amazon because I, I buy there so much. <laughs> so I saw um, that Amy said she loves Wizard of Oz too. And Amy, I don't know if you know this, but I have a room in my house. My family room is all done in Wizard of Oz. It's all decorated in Wizard of Oz. It started when um, I was a teenager and my dad bought me a Bradford exchange plate. You know, that uh, the ceramic plates that you put on the collector's items. That's how it started. And then it just boom went from there <laughs> so yeah my whole room in there is wizard of oz it's very cool actually it's That's a very awesome cool room. yeah i want so, i want to apologize for making you go out and coming back in but you were nice and clear now so for your project yeah. and it was crazy with facebook because when i went back to come in when i went to restart it um it switched over to the new version. So I was trying to figure out the new version and get it started really quick. And then in the process of doing that, it switched back to the old version. And I was like, okay, that's it. I'm done. Dorothy <laughs> says, I'm still looking for red. Oh, red shoes. Are you uh, looking for red shoes? You know, I actually saw a pair of the Ruby red slippers at the Smithsonian uh, Museum. I actually saw it. Um, I took my kids there. My mom and dad and, and I took the kids to uh, Washington and we went, Washington DC, I think is where we were. And we went to see, and I got to see the ruby red slippers and I bawled my eyes out. Of course, that was only one pair. Well, you read there's a lot of people that don't know, there's actually seven pairs of slippers yeah. that were made. Do you but remember like three or four years ago, Mark and I took a bike trip and we went to um, Dorothy, Judy Garland's hometown? Yes, yes. You told and me they about They have it. a whole, like they have the house that she grew up in, 
And then I went to the museum and I'm taking pictures and sending them to Lisa. Yes. Here's the carrot. Here's this. Here's the, I mean, because yeah, Lisa would have loved that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I would have gone bonkers. I am such a weirdo. <laughs> well, so Dorothy, I'm interested. You're looking for red shoes. Is it for something specific or are you looking for like, cause when my girls were little, Target had these little red slip on shoes that were all glittery. Right. Um, so. Yep. Or it was an annual tradition for us too, Rebecca. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. Always watched it every single year. You know, I still watch it. Not as much as I used to, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time now, but, um, I was going to tell you, Dorothy, you could, you know, just buy some, uh, plain, oh. you know, like maybe yeah, some yeah. white pumps, like small mm -hmm. pumps. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a high heel girl. That's not me, but. Well, she know. said, I need red Chuck Taylors. I'm not sure what Chuck Taylor is. I'm sure. It's oh, a I think those are tennies, aren't they? I think those are. Oh, then you can make them red. Oh yeah. And you can put glitter and stuff on them too. Oh you yeah. You can. You can Mod Podge, use Mod Podge and glitter and cover it with Mod Podge. I did that for my kids when they were little. I used to make all, I'd make little tennis shoes to match certain outfits. Yeah. You know, I, I do die cut pieces of fabric and, you know, I'd use, um, they were called scribbles at the time, the paint that you could oh, put yep, on. Yep. But yeah, you can use red glitter and Mod Podge, Dorothy with yep, like Lisa was... said a pair of white tennies yeah perfect would be perfect so yeah so that you know sharing a little bit of of, of fun trivia of me <laughs> and how my dogs got their names so all right well before we go let me announce the winners from last week now one of them was in was here earlier but i don't know if she came back so i want to say dorothy if you do customize them take a picture and put them in the group we'd love to see them because yes they are yes, so yes. so fun you actually need red boots yes because it's cold it's cold here too kind of brisk today and the sun is shining but i think it's gonna be the last nice nice you know in the 40s or 50s and then it's yeah the weather here cold. has just been stupid it's <laughs> hot one day and cold the next it's like okay make up your mind it's got to be one or the other okay well i don't see her she was in here but the winner of our ebook is sharon gilkison okay so congratulations sharon and then the other lady that won is for kathy's book and her name is Teresita Sherman. So I didn't see either one of them in here, but I will contact them. So congratulations to you both. Um, don't forget to um, like, comment, and share this video here, hashtag Bella Crafts, for the $25 gift certificate that we're going to announce next week from Newton's Nook excited for that because i know that there are a few of you that are newton nook fanatics so yes. you know, make sure that you share and everything so you can be in the running for that gift certificate because we'll announce that next week but right now that is it for me that I, is i'm not sure if lisa told you before i came in that i'm not, not doing my live today um Full disclosure, I got a new table, I got a new computer, I tore my craft room apart. <laughs> <laughs> Where it, I had to make a space, <laughs> this, so I could do the live with Lisa. I am, yeah. I've already three garbage bags out. <laughs> um, donations, donations are, and I just cleaned my craft room. I know. You know, like th six months ago, but yeah. 
in the end, when I was cleaning it last time, I just wanted it done. So I took a bunch of stuff and just put into some bins and stuff. And now I am actually sorting every, I mean, like I yeah. have colorized all of my buttons <laughs> because yep. they were all together. So I have like 14 jars of buttons, but I am um, totally, totally <laughs> um, <laughs> torn apart. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a space for me to do a live and I'm yeah. sorry, but, yeah. um, I didn't want to just throw it all into something and not have it done. It needs to just totally be done. What's really yep. great while I'm doing all this, I have got stuff in the garage, in the basement. I have a sewing room. I have this room. Plus I have stuff in a, dresser in the guest room. I have stuff everywhere. I yep. am emptying all that stuff and bringing it in here. Oh, so I can empty all of those other, well, not my sewing room, but all those other spaces. Yep. Will free up room. So yay. Yeah. And it's going to be it's, awesome. It's when cold here in our in. town. Power our outage. Ooh. Amy, I'm sorry. Where are you from, Amy? Oh, 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 yeah, that would be cold. Holy smokes. <laughs> anyways, I, I will both be back next week with our lives. Yep. And um, have some fabulous projects and the winner of Newton's Nook. Thank yes. you, Dorothy. Yes, I do. You know, it, it's kind of. I do like to organize. Yes, she does. I do. So, I mean, she does. It's good, you know, but it is something I enjoy doing. I like um, pitching stuff and. Yeah, um, it's a great feeling. Oh, she's in mm -hmm. Indiana. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's chilly. That's going to be chilly. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, next week we're doing lawn fun. So... And mine just came today. Yeah. So next week is lawn fun, you guys. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And until then, you guys have an awesome week. We will see you all next week. Thank you for, for hanging with us when I was having these issues earlier. I really appreciate it. Anna and I both do. So do. make sure that you guys take some time to craft because it's good for your soul. It really Always. is. Have a we great day, you guys. You guys. Next week. Dorothy, have fun organizing too. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye.